Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here in front of um, this building. I wish I knew the name of it, but I don't. I don't know the name of it. Anyway, we're gonna go in here to where the war room is, and I guess possibly end up traveling to Val Royo since we have enough power to do that now. So uh, we still do have an awful lot of missions remaining in the hinterlands, as you can see. But holy crap, there's a lot of them. But I just kind of wanted to uh, make a little bit of progress in the main story. There's a possibility that we get in here, we go to Valroyo, and you find out that we're way under-leveled. If that happens, we'll just turn around and come back. It's not that big of a deal. So, I don't know. This may be a big mistake. With passioned breath, does the darkness creep? Hey, it's Mother Giselle. Apothecary Adon will have more pulses for the injured as soon as possible, revered mother. Thank you, child. You are doing the Mako's work. Have you been able to save many people? More than if we had not tried. Well, I guess that's a pretty good attitude. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Uh, you know, um, I'm trying. I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband for a time. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. Uh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say that. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Well, how are the people out there, Mother Giselle? How are the people doing, after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? How are the people at Haven, the place where we are right now? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the mages and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of a divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, at the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. That's not good. Uh, how are people elsewhere? Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empresse de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. Worse than demons? More than that I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olé and Ferelden. What help are you offering? What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chant of Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Well, nice talking to you. Farewell. Farewell. Let's go in here and um, give uh, what's her face, Menave, some of these ah, creature items. Um, may I have a moment? What? Who are you talking to? Is there something over here to read that I didn't read before? Oh my goodness gracious! Make yourselves comfortable. The children of Andraste. There are many misconceptions regarding Andraste's bloodline, Monsieur. This is due, I should think, to a general lack of knowledge regarding Andraste's mortal life. Understandable, considering the many cults that arose following her death. Everyone sought to claim Our Lady for their own culture or claim some aspect of her existence was a lie. All of them complete fabrications. My order has done considerable research to ascertain the truth. We know Andraste and the betrayer raised five children. The eldest three were sons, Isarath. Embryon and Verald. The rule of what was once southern Tevinter was split amongst them. Isarath was given the west, what is today Orlais, 
Evrion was given the east, what is today the Free Marches. Verald was given the central Planacene, what is today Navara. What became of these men and their legacies is the stuff of legend, and the majority of claimants to Andraste's bloodline link back to one of them. None of the three sons, however, were born of Andraste. They were born of the betrayer's concubine, Gilavon. People chose to overlook the fact that Andraste came from the Almari tribesmen and that they were barbarians, not the Fereldans we know today. They were savage warriors who took concubines in addition to their wives, and because Andraste was thought to be too weak to bear children, the betrayer took Gilavon to provide him heirs, which she did. After her death, the sons were raised as, as Andraste's own. Later in life, Andraste provided proved predictions wrong and had two daughters by the betrayer, Ibris and Vivial. They were kept out of the public eye and not permitted to marry, though both had consorts. Ibris had but one child, Ali Vemar, who perished on a voyage to Denerim, less than a month after her mother fell to plague, and without children of her own. The younger daughter, Vivial, was more controversial, a strong-headed woman who defied her family by falling in love with a mage of Tevinter, Regulan. Vibul and Regulan went into self-imposed exile as the exalted march began and into hiding following Andraste's betrayal and murder. What became of Vibul and her descendants is largely unknown for one primary reason. She only had daughters. Each of those daughters only had daughters. They married into other families and took other names, and in the chaos of the Second Blight, all traces of survivors were lost. Andraste's true bloodline, if it exists, lies solely in the descendants of Vivial, and the suspicion of my order is that it produces only daughters. Thus, the claims of your young man, Monsieur, are highly suspect. From a letter by Sister Galena of the Augustan Order, Dragon 912. Okay. I say that a lot. Let's turn in some research. Yes. Good. Some weapon fragments I turned in. That's all I had? I get a little bit more influence because of that, but I'm not real sure what influence is for, actually, to tell you the truth. Don't I have more stuff to turn in? Tell me if you find something. There we go. Oh, okay. Damage bonus against humanoids. Ram horns removed. I, I find this a little confusing. Please tell me if you find something. No creature research items to remove. All right. Uh, who are you talking? Let me interrupt our conversation here. Hello. Can I help you with something? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I am I interrupting? Uh, I've already asked her these questions. I believe I have. Anyway, I'll speak with you later. Travel safely. I don't like that I could ask her the questions again. Really. Ooh, I'll see. Oh, okay. I thought that was something I could loot. And I was gonna say that would be a weird thing to do. Josephine. Yes, Ambassador. I'd like to discuss your parents. My parents. Uh. Why? Why are you interested in my parents? As people have noted your station, it would be helpful to call on the resources of your noble kinsmen. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? What? I don't know. I don't... I have no idea. I... Yeah, see, I, I guess maybe I was, I'm supposed to know my own backstory, and I don't know it, so I don't really know what to, um... I don't know if I'm not in their good graces. I don't know if they adore politics. Uh, I don't know if they're very religious. Sure, I'll do it. If that's what you want, I'll send a letter to my family. They'll respect the request if it comes from me. Wonderful. That will save time. Valroyo has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? You are from Ostwick. Our legion nobles consider the free marches somewhat quaint. Uh, I don't know enough about the history to really answer that question. I don't know. Yeah, we're disorganized, sure. Orlais has a proper empire. Free marches never unite until Darkspawn knock at their door. No one doubts their ferocity when it happens. Free marchers are renowned for their tenacity. Uh, speaking of which, I should thank you for your patience with the simple quarters. The accommodations in Haven are surely rough for someone of your birth. Um, yeah. <laughs> Haven is a freezing dump. I didn't see anything wrong with my little shack. It was fine. Don't worry about me. Haven's more than livable. Really? If that is how you feel, I'm pleased to hear it. 
Until next time, my lord. Mm, nice chatting with you about things I don't really know a whole lot about, which is pretty pathetic because there are things about me and my family. Uh, that's not what I wanted. How do I get... I'm, I'm sure there's a short key to the codex, but I don't remember what it is. Characters... Is there one of myself? Cassandra, Cullen... Isn't there one of me? Or am I just making up my story as I go along? Is that what's happening? Huh, okay. Well, there is not um, anything about me in here. Uh, huh. Okay, well, whatever. I just, I just wanted to learn, that's all. Although that does make me suspect that I'm just making up my own story as I go along. All right, where's the war room? Anybody remember where the war room is? Anyone? Is this it? War council. I'm gonna summon the war council. Get your butts in here. We have a war to discuss. In the perks menu, you can select perks that provide unique benefits to your party. The number of available perk points is shown at the bottom of the screen. We have one you were perk. Something about Colin? Hmm? I yes. What? Haven has limited space for our soldiers to train. Perhaps we could set up something over here. Special training from those who have joined the Inquisition's cause. Why does it say that up there? Forces, secrets, connections, inquisition, perks. So we're talking about perks here. Um, oh, okay. Underworld knowledge. Under, endurance training fit for a soldier. Underworld knowledge. So I guess I could use my perk for one of these things, to acquire one of these things. Underworld knowledge, detailed study of underworld customs and their brutal but practical applications, opens up new dialogue options related to criminal activities and grants 50% experience points for each codex entry unlocked. Masachi's method, a methodology developed by an Arlesian blade master and used by chevaliers to analyze their own performance in combat, grants a 5% increase in XP earned from killing foes. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, secrets. Arcane knowledge, a detailed study of magic in the places and creatures that interact with it, opens up new dialogue options related to the Fade or Arcane Studies, grants 50% experience points for each codex entry unlocked. Optimal cutting. What? Detailed studies show how to get the maximum usable harvest from each plant, grants a 10% chance to receive extra herbs with each harvest. Eagle Eyed. Training and spotting where the pattern breaks, in nature or in civilization, grants a significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action. Okay. Connections. Training in the fine arts of persuasion. Nobility knowledge. Detailed study of politics, rhetoric, and those who wield them to best effect. Opens up new dialogue options related to nobles and politics. Grants 50% experience points for each codec. Codex entry unlocked. So, so far the top one has always granted 50% experience bonus. Sterling reputation, thanks to a few well-placed acquaintances and, caref and a carefully crafted reputation, mer merchants will pay the Inquisition 10% more for items sold to them. A favor for a favor. From an expanding network of contacts among artisans, suppliers, and noble patrons, merchants will offer the Inquisition a 10% discount on their goods. Ooh, and I can get this one too. The rare stocks Inquisition procurers can leverage or the organization's reputation to purchase a shipment of rare and valuable raw materials for crafting. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Or, or, wait, no, there's not. This is the same thing. And Inquisition, improved coordination and infrastructure. History knowledge, detailed study of Thetis's past. Opens up new dialogue options related to history in the Chantry. Grants an additional 50%, blah, blah, blah. Antivan tailoring. Antivan tailors are famed for their ability to hide pockets seamlessly in garments. A few words to the Inquisition's friends to the north, and its forces can carry more items in the field. Increases inventory capacity by 15. Ooh, that's intriguing. Uh, tempered glass flasks. Better techniques in glass working make more durable flasks, allowing more potions to be carried safely at one time. Adds one more potion slot for all party members. Well, this is actually useful stuff I'm finding here. I think, anyway. Uh, so out of all these... Hmm... 
I mean, I like the extra 50%, I guess. It'd probably make more sense if I did one of those since it's early in the game and I want to I wanna level up as fast as I can. So which one do I want? Forces, secrets, or connections? I am a rogue. I'm not really... I mean, I guess I'm a soldier. Uh, hmm. Criminal activities. Or... The Fate of Arcane Studies. Or... Um, nobles and Politics. I'm going to do this one. Arcane Knowledge. Acquired. Okay, well that was fun. So, um... What we want to do... Oh wait a minute, don't go away. No, don't go away. Oh, okay, well I'm just going to call you back here in just a second. 